Oh my god, he's back! Yes! Yes! The greatest rapper ever found alive. Discovered by the greatest channel ever alive. BG Media. Yes! He's back. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Little T. Little T is back. Oh, you don't know Little fucking T? How do you not know Little T? He's famous for such great fucking freestyles. Like this, for example. Yo, yeah, like the bitter, I'm gonna rape your little sister. Yes, that, that freestyle. The, but you know what? It's not even just that freestyle. That one line alone, that one line. I'm going to rape your little sister. That line alone made him famous. Yes. See, I don't know, you know, whether to be scared of him because, you know, from Fratsu or, you know, I don't fucking know anymore. I really don't. Because thank fuck I don't have a little sister. I don't have a little brother. I have a dog. Don't know if you're going to rape my dog, but I, I don't have a little sister, thankfully. But yes, finally, after three years of disappearing off face here, if this kid was like fucking 12 or some shit when he got discovered, but finally... After years, free, free fucking years, free long years, without like the greatest rapper, freestyler of all time, he's back. BG Media has brought him back. Yes, yes, yes. His name is Josh Tate. It's BG Media, Josh Tate. Little T freestyle. Yes, he's back. It's already. I have not seen this. Yet. I've literally clicked on it and saw like the first part of it when my mate Cameron was here. That is it. I've actually not watched it. So, I, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like. I really don't. Um, I just I just hope to God, you know, he doesn't try to rape my sister again. That, that, that would be much appreciated if he didn't do that. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's get in. Yo. Josh Tate. Little T. BG. Oh, fuck. How did he go? From this I'm gonna rape your little sister to this Josh Tate Lottie His voice his voice is deep as fuck now compared to then what, what look at his fucking hair it's actually worse now what what the fuck this kid's like 15 16 he looks like a drug addict he actually looks like yeah he looks like a fucking drug addict <laughs> Anyway fuck let's continue Can you all start you need to get me in the beef cuz the ticket chat is all the tally Oh no no, I don't know where he's from. I can't remember where he's from, but I know he's from England because he's talking like an English smack. <laughs> you know, you know, it's not, see the part, you know, this thing, like the thing part doesn't annoy me, but it's, oh, fuck me, it's the way he talks. Oh, just, just wind it back, wind it back and listen. Ready? Hey. No, <laughs> he he doesn't even say beef. He goes beef, and he just chatting sheet. What what the fuck is your accent? <laughs> what is your accent? Man? What the fuck? Oh, do you know what? I'm I'm gonna stop disrespect. I'm gonna stop disrespecting the greatest rapper. You know he's back to change the rap game. Dax thought he was the guy. Sorry, Dax, you're not, you're not next in line to change the rap game. You're just not. Little T is here. Just stand down. Just make room for Little T, cause Little T's better. That's it. Just stand down. Let him work. And here he is. Yeah, for the proof, and you wanna see the bars that I produce. I just wanna prove it to the little use. Only fifteen, yeah, I so sick the goose. If you wanna send for me, that's a bad move. Like you'll get lit like a bad zoo. In black over coming, coming. Where he's from? That's where he's from. I remember now Cameron told me he's from fucking Blackpool because he says it in the fucking song he's from fucking Blackpool. Please, God, I didn't know people from Blackpool spoke like that. <laughs> Jesus, he's the, he's the only person from Blackpool that has bars, though. You know, he has bars, he does. Anyone that says he doesn't is a hater that just wants to be the best when they're not. Little T is the greatest of all time. He's going to be the greatest of all time. My apology for that mistake there. But anyway, fucking, I'm actually happy Little T is back. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just so funny to watch, like... You know, like, after threatening to, 
you know, re oh yes, no, actually I left out a part, you know, after threatening to rape any, everyone's little sister, he also threatens to break your mom's spine. Yeah, he also threatens to break your mom's spine. And I'll roll that out. Yeah. Poor mum. <laughs> I'll visit you in the hospital when little T breaks your spine. Fleetwood Town, they think they're sick, but man, are all clowns. Then Jenkins will get a punch right round. Burn his house to the ground, aye. Yo, yeah, I catch him sipping. If I see Jordan Lee, at least I'm a dip him. Keegan Dixon, bro, I'm gonna lick him. When I see you. Do Liam Dixon. <laughs> you, 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 what are you gonna do to Liam Dixon? I'm gonna lick him. Okay. Nice. No, I have nothing more to say about that part. Take man's wife, man get tapped for the bees and the whites. Look, yeah, it's me and Tyler. Back on the mic, I'm a coming to remind ya. Get the Cali weed and then I grind it in my grinder. Sell to your mum, cause she's a good buyer. Talk well, of course, my mum's a good buyer, you know. She, she needs that weed to ease the pain on her back when you broke her fucking spine. <laughs> yeah. She, she literally, she is a good buyer. She needs that. <laughs> she needs the weed. When you when you break someone's spine, they're going to need fucking painkillers or whatever the fuck. So your your weed is very helpful. So even though you broke my mom's spine, little T, I appreciate you for giving her the fucking pain relieving weed, marijuana, you know, that she needs. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, little T. Thank you. Bro, that's minor. Bitch wants our mind because he's wearing designer. Bitch wants our mind because he's wearing Gucci. Hey. That was little T. Do you know what? See, see no, I, I don't. I know a lot of people probably don't know what the fuck BG Media is. I'm actually gonna show you the best. You know, the best artist ever. Like top quality, top quality artist that BG Media uh, find for us. I'm actually gonna go back to about three years ago when Lil T was discovered and see what else was discovered back then as well, you know. Gotta do that. So there's another one that I found. He's, it's BG Media and it's Jordan Lee Ellis. I'm gonna play his, you know. He, I guarantee he, he's not as good as Lil T. I bet you. I bet you he's not as good as Lil T, but he'd probably be really good. Yo, it's Jordan Ellis Gailey. BG Media. They got Jack and the Cam. Why is everyone discovered by BG Media uh, like an English smack? Like why? Why? <laughs> Please, why? To your bars, get flattened. I'm in the documentary. You're not. I can play dot to dot with your spots. I'm like. I'm done. I'm done. Nope. I can't even fucking joke anymore. I am done. I just I can't do this anymore. I just can't. They're never gonna find another talent as good as little t why are you trying bg media why you're just not <laughs> you it was good for you bringing little t back because your channel was dead before then and i let little t you you have 420k subscribers i'm pretty sure you dropped after you let little t go after little t disappeared off the face of the fucking earth you know i was wondering what he was doing over those like three to four years that he fucking disappeared i really do wonder what he was doing because he went from being at the top of the fucking rap game to just off the face of the earth, like, what what was he doing exactly? He, he grew into a man, an English smick of a man, the manliest man, like, that. that's what he did, and that's it, and now you brought him back because you need Fuse, good job, like, legit good job, because the world needs little T, like, they, they don't need little T, they, they, they don't, they don't need Lil T, they need Lil T. Lil T. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, oh fuck me, I am done after that. I am. <laughs> oh, I'm actually glad Lil T is back, I'm not joking. It's just so funny to just take the piss of him. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and uh, try to hit up Lil T and see if he can help me with my rap crew. That's it. So, uh, peace.